Good morning. We have already solved this problem and we need to work with unit vectors and projectile motion. So let's solve it again, only this time using unit vectors. Flippin' physics. Bobby, please read the problem and Bo, please tell me everything we know in terms of unit vectors. A ball is launched from the nerdipult with an initial speed of 3.25 meters per second at an angle of 61.7 degrees above the horizontal. If the basket is 93 centimeters from the ball horizontally, where should the basket be placed vertically relative to the ball so the ball lands in the basket? What am I doing? You are giving me everything we know in terms of unit vectors. I do not know how to do that. Okay. I'll get us started with the initial and final positions. Because these positions are in multiple dimensions at once, we use the symbol R instead of X, Y, or Z. So the initial position, or R naught, is, well, we get to choose, we get to choose that. So let's choose 0i plus 0j as the initial position of the ball. The ball starts at 0. The final position, posi the final position, which is our final, equals 93 centimeters in the x direction, which we know is 0.93 meters in the x direction, or 0.93 times unit vector i. The final position in the y direction is the unknown we are solving for, so let's substitute in an unknown variable y, or y times unit vector j. So the final position equals 0.93i plus yj meters. All right, Bo, your turn. Please determine the initial velocity of the ball in terms of unit vectors. Okay. Uh, well, the initial velocity given in the problem is in terms of magnitude and direction. So we are going to need the x and y direction components of it. Okay, I think I know I think I know how to do this. The initial velocity or v naught equals the x component of the initial velocity times i plus the y component of the initial velocity times j. The x component of the initial velocity equals well, because theta is with the horizontal, it equals initial velocity times cosine theta. The y component of the initial velocity equals initial velocity times sine theta. Initial velocity is 3.25 meters per second, and theta is 61.7 degrees. So the initial velocity is 1.54079i plus 2.86155j meters per second. Very nice, Bo. Billy, please give me the acceleration of the ball using unit vectors. Absolutely. Okay. The acceleration of any object in projectile motion is 9.81 meters per second squared down. Objects in projectile motion have no acceleration in the x direction, so uh, 0 times unit vector i plus, well, negative 9.81 times unit vector j meters per second squared. Thank you, Billy. Now, we know the acceleration of the ball is constant, so we can use the uniformly accelerated motion equations. Let's use position final equals position initial plus initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. Notice we can substitute the unit vector versions we just determined of final position, initial position, initial velocity, and acceleration. And we can remove the zeros and multiply through by time and time squared. Bobby, please isolate all of the x direction terms and see what we can accomplish with that. Sure. Uh, isolating all of the terms which have a unit vector i in them gives us 0 0.93 equals 1.54079 times time. Oh, okay. We can solve for time. Uh, time equals 0 0.93 divided by 1.54079 or 0 0.60... Uh, Three, five, eight, eight seconds. Thanks, Bobby. Can you actually do the same thing with the y direction? Yeah. Isolating all the terms which have unit vector j in them gives us y equals 2.86155 time minus 4.905 times squared. And we just figured out the time. So substitute that in 
and we get um, a negative 0 0.059978 meters or well well that is negative 6.0 centimeters in other words the basket needs to be placed 6.0 centimeters below the original height of the ball just like we got last time yep the, the physics still works. Cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Very nice, Bobby. Now, notice how by using unit vectors, we are able to combine everything we know in this problem into one equation. In the long run, that can be very useful. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.